being denounced. She, they are now facing removal as president of the city's student, of the school, NYU, my alma mater, the school's student bar association, because they were caught on camera in New York City. Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm back with another video. And tonight, I'm going to review the Gradio R10 AM FM shortwave um, Bluetooth USB and micro SD or TF and also has white noise. Okay. So here you go. Uh, Gradio sent me this a few weeks ago uh, for review on it. I've been using it for the last week and a half. I use it every day. I listen mostly on AM radio with this. I have tuned in a couple of FM stations on it. I also um, try to use it on shortwave, but I'll get to that in a second. And um, also the relaxation sounds. I made a video on it. I also did it on the live stream. It sounds pretty good. Um, and also, I, I had loaded a couple of MP3s in there. I did it with a thumb drive. It works fine. The Bluetooth works well. So let's get started. So we're going to start with one of the most important features here, which is certainly on my channel, is the shortwave band. Um, I'm, I'm here down in the basement. I try using it in a short wave. I got a couple of stations, you know, a couple of powerful stations like uh, Radio Marti and so on. I did pick that up in the basement with the, uh, of course, with this telescoping whip, which is about, I'm going to say about 18 inches. Okay. Um, unfortunately, I have not had a lot of luck with other stations. Again, I'm in the basement. Also, um, this radio is not very sensitive radio when it comes to shortwave. And there's also another issue with this radio. Uh, originally this radio, when you did tune, uh, you know what? I'm going to show you. Let's turn on the radio. Let me lower the volume. I'm going to put it on shortwave. Okay. Of course, I'm getting a lot of noise now. As you can see. 7.435 it has that you know two weird tuning thing um there was reports on this that it actually tune instead of um i believe five every uh five kilohertz it actually went to 50 kilohertz so when you would tune instead of like for example 7350 the next band will be, you know, 7,400. That's, that's, you know, that's just, that's just insane. Uh, yeah. So you can basically, you can't use it on shortwave. However, um, they did send me an email recently, uh, a couple of days ago saying that they're going to fix that issue. So this is a review uh, radio. Uh, basically they're saying that any, a, any new radio you buy, any new version of this radio you buy, uh, the tuning is going to go down to uh, 0 0.05 kilohertz. So it's going to be a lot more, uh, you know, uh, it should be a lot more narrower. Okay. Uh, yeah, because 50 kilohertz is way too wide. <laughs> it's just, that's way too wide. And although, like I said, it's displaying here. 74 point 70 uh 7435 uh is actually <laughs> you know yeah and i'm not crazy about that so you know i'm gonna say uh uh just like the previous radio that i have from radio the stroke wave band is not the 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 you know, I'm, I'm sorry to say it, but I'm going to say it. It's not their best uh, band. And it, uh, for so far, these two radios, they're uh, way off on shortwave. 
So, of course, these, this would not be my go-to radio for shortwave anyway. So, you know, in terms of that, you know. Uh, now, of course, um, I have not used this outside. Uh, you know, weather's getting a little, uh, you know, it's not the best weather right now. And I, I, I like this radio for more indoors anyway. I would not use this radio for outside right now. I have plenty of radios that I can do that. So for the, but you know, and I didn't want to, uh, test this thing into the, because I already tested it enough that I know what my determination is. I gave it enough tests that I say, I, I know that it's not going to be that good at shortwave. And it's not. It's not that good at shortwave. Okay. It's not good at all. Uh, if they do that fix, then you know what? That, that, I'll have to revisit that with another radio because this one is not, this one is not it. Okay, so a shortwave band, I'm going to say uh, not good. Not good on shortwave. So now let's talk about the FM band. Okay, the FM band. Let me lower the volume here. Put it on. Go to change the mode to FM. FM is pretty good. Um, is this, is this sensitive than my other radios? No. It's average. It's average on FM, especially here in the basement, uh, especially on the lower bands. Okay, I don't want to get a copyright uh, notice on that. So, you know, 81.9.1, that's not bad. Uh, normal station like that, low power station like that. So I'm going to say, you know, I, I'm going to say average because uh, it, it does not get 88.3. Which is a very low power station. Uh, some of my red, better radios will get that. So there's definitely not above average. It's an average FM reception. Uh, there is no FM stereo on this. So keep that in mind also. Uh, I, I did not see any. Uh, I did not see anything in the paperwork or anything that says this is FM stereo. So there is no FM stereo on this. Uh, but it does sound good. It sounds good. And uh, yeah, so that's uh, average on FM. So let's talk about medium wave. Okay. So if the Jets can get three turnovers, they win this game by two touchdowns. Clearly, if they win the turnover battle, they add. So on medium wave, uh, medium wave reception is above average. Um, it does pick up. I picked up a few distant stations on it. I picked up KXEL out of Waterloo, Iowa. Des Moines, Iowa, excuse me, um, from here in Yonkers, New York. Um, the only issue with this radio is the bandwidth. Again, it's very wide, so yeah, it is better than the uh, previous radio radio that I uh, reviewed in terms of the bandwidth. This one is not so bad. I did listen to KXEL. Uh, what other station I did pick up? Another station. Um, anyway, KXCL, I did pick that up. That is kind of like the, my benchmark radio in terms of DXC capability. So this can receive long distance stations. However, bandwidth is just too wide. And um, it is kind of prone to interference. Not as much as the, the other radio. But so I'm going to say above average. Um of course, this is the one radio I've been using every day for talk radio, local stations here. And it's pretty good. I'm very, I'm very, very satisfied with that. That this is a you know radio that I will listen to you know uh, on a daily basis. You know, like a you know just a regular everyday radio that I will listen to. Is this going to be my DXing radio? No, it's not going to be my AM, uh, medium wave DXing radio. No, but you know it sounds good. Now, of course, you got your. Um, Turn that off. You know, I did listen to it. I'm not gonna play it here now. It's just uh, you know, I don't want to put copyrighted music and all that. It's just copyrighted music that I had here. USB sounds good. MP3 format. I don't have any other format. I tried it with MP3 file. It works fine. Same thing with a micro SD card or the TF card. Okay. Uh, of course, the charging is right here. A uh, battery life on this radio is. Pretty good. I had this radio for good maybe 12 hours. I had it all day. I'm really, I'm not going to say about six, six to eight hours on a full charge. But I had it on and I turned it on and off and so on. I had this thing on for pretty much the whole day. Listening to talk radio and stuff like that. I would just take it with me wherever I'm in the house. Just to test out the battery. It's pretty good. I'm going to say battery life is pretty good on this radio. 
Uh, it takes, um, I think it took a little over an hour to fully charge it. I mean, I drained the battery down till it was nothing. And then I fully charged it. It takes about a little over an hour or so to fully charge it. And it's not bad. It's pretty, it's pretty good. Okay, so battery life on this thing is good. And, you know, and and the Bluetooth feature also works well. Uh, it does sound nice uh, as, as a Bluetooth speaker. Uh, it does make a nice. Uh, that's one thing about the audio on this thing is very, uh, it's very nice sounding audio. So it it does make a nice Bluetooth speaker, and also the um, white noise feature. Uh, this is my first radio <clears throat> that I had used that feature, uh, white noise feature, or we could call, or you could call it relaxation feature. And what you do is you turn on the power. There's a mode for that. Let me lower the volume on that. And it's right here. Oh, sorry. Just skip by. I went to by. Went kind of fast there. It's right here. You have uh, eight tracks of uh, relaxation music or white noise. Okay. So I already made a video on that. I went through all of them. I think this is the. I think this is the best feature of this radio. Okay. I seen other ra other dedicated radios. Um, actually, I was gonna get one a few months ago. Uh, somebody contacted me. It was another company contacted me about that, but it was just a relaxation radio. It was no other type of radio, and I just didn't. I, I didn't reply back. I didn't. I just don't want to review a relaxation radio. This one is actually, you know, like I said, AM, FM, shortwave, and relaxation mode which is kind of cool i think this is the first radio that i seen i mean if you've seen other ones that has all you know regular bands and also relaxation mode let me know in the comments but this is the first one that i seen and i think that's a nice feature um they do they all sound pretty good my favorite is the uh number eight which is the chimes so let me just get my off I keep pressing the wrong button. Let me go back. <clears throat> so I like this one. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> yeah, so I like that one because it reminds me of... Uh, uh, we used to go, my wife and I used to go to this place. It's like a, they sell like a lot of religious artifacts and all that, you know, a Hindu religion, Buddhist religion. And they play something like this in the background. It's a CD. And it's like a Buddhist temple stuff. And this reminds me of that. So, there's like wind chimes and stuff like that, which is pretty cool. All right, in conclusion, um, overall, it's a nice looking radio. Um, I do like the Bluetooth speaker. The audio sounds very, very good. Um, I could definitely see me using this as a Bluetooth speaker, especially when I'm out there barbecuing and I just want to, uh, you know, listen to Spotify on my phone. I want to stream it through my the speaker. It's gonna be a nice, a nice speaker for that. Um, overall, um, if you're not looking for shortwave radio, then this is a good radio for that. Okay, if you don't care about shortwave. Because, like I said, I think shortwave is just, uh, they need to fix that. Uh, 50 kilohertz is way too wide for in shortwave. Uh, I know they, they did mention they are going to improve the uh, issue on that. They're going to bring it down to uh, uh, 5 kilohertz. Okay? They need to bring that down. So, if you don't care about, short, if you don't care about the shortwave features on this, then this radio is, then this radio is good. Uh, FM reception, like I said, is, um, I'm going to say... Uh, average okay i have better smaller radios out there that will pick up fm let's say the weaker fm stations am radio i got said above average uh of course a little too wide for dxing but i did pick up long distance stations on it i do like the mp3 players the fact that you can use uh both uh micro sd card or usb i like that and i also like the relaxation the white noise Okay, I that I like that. I like those tracks, especially the uh my favorite one is the last one, the chimes. Because that reminds me of a shop that me and my wife used to go to is a uh like a, they sell like a lot of religious stuff there, like uh 
Buddha stuff, Hindu stuff. Pretty nice place, and they always playing that wind chime. And I, it was a CD actually that the guy used, uh, the guys we was selling. So they remind me of that. It brought me back to that time. So it's very relaxing. So I like that. And this radio goes up for about forty. I seen that on Amazon for about forty two dollars. Uh, I think I seen that uh, maybe less than a couple of places. I think that's. Mm, I'm gonna say that's reasonable because of the. Uh, Relaxation mode. Um, I was gonna be. I was gonna review a relaxation only radio uh, a few months ago, and I decided not to because that that was only a relaxation type radio, and that one was way over sixty dollars. The fact that this one is AM, FM, and shortwave, and it plays MP3, and it also does relaxation. You have relaxation tracks on there. Uh, I think forty dollars. That's a good. I think that's a good price for, for all those features you get and the Bluetooth. Okay. So if you don't care about shortwave, then this radio, I'm going to say it's a buy. It's a nice looking radio. I like the uh, look of it. And I'm definitely going to be using this radio for, you know, AM listening. But also, I'm going to I'm, I'm gonna enjoy, you know, the relaxation stuff every once in a while. I'll play it. But I'm also going to enjoy the uh, Bluetooth speaker. I like that, that because the audio on this is, this box is, a, is I'm going to say, it's pretty cool. All right. So there you go. So uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also share the video. Also let me know what you think about this video if you own one. And like I said, the shortwave feature, they plan to improve that in the future. They did contacted me a few days ago about that. And so we shall see. So thank you for watching. Um, I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.